Hey guys, Bump here. In this video, we're gonna do uh, white bass fishing. We're down in the Salt River, which is the headwaters of the Taylorsville Lake. Uh, we're gonna be white bass fishing down the white bass run. The white bass run or white bass spawn in Kentucky starts in late March all the way up into early May. When the white bass run's going on, you can catch white bass after white bass after white bass when the fishing's really good. The white bass run starts right about the time the flowering trees start to show, so your red buds and your dogwoods. The run usually slows down by the time Derby rolls around, which is the first Saturday in May. So the white bass have really started to pick up here lately. The females are moving in. Uh, we've been catching our limit about every day. So the water levels have risen. We had some rain a couple days back, uh, so it should open up some different little holes for us. Uh, so we're hoping to get a lot of white bass today and uh, hopefully get our limit. Be sure to stick around at the end of the video. I'll go over different lures and techniques that have been successful for us and also some specifics about how to get to the area and uh, details about uh, access to it. Nice white bass. First one of the day there. Get the stringer, Bubba. Number one, see if we can fill it up. There we go. Second white bass. Strong in this current today. Nice. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Number two, number two. Nice white bass there. Made about four casts here. Caught two fish. White bass run is on. Water's really high today. Fishing this little eddy. Just outside of the current. It's all the way across the other side of the bank. So it makes the fishing tough, but you get a good nice long cast, you hit that eddy and catch a fish about every time. Number three on here. Third white bass of the day. Oh, they are fun in this current. Wow, look at that. They're fun. They're fun to reel in. <laughs> Another fish. Boys, three fish. That means like a lot of cleaning right there. Yep. All right, Patch, get the stringer. Number three. Still got it. Oh, stringer? Sorry, Female, sir. full eggs here. Feel them. Got him. Okay. Three. Number three. So we caught about 13 of these a couple days ago. The females are still holding eggs. So the white bass spawn is still on. The females are still holding eggs. If you're enjoying the video so far, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below and make sure you subscribe to my channel as well. I'm gonna hit that other one here in a second. What? But this one, if you hit right across from that tree, you can get one about every time. But it takes a long, perfect cast. I don't like that one. If you got it all the way to the other side, is that would you be happy? Oh, that's a fish out there. That is a fish. I don't know. We'll see. If you got one. Got it. See, that's the spot. Number four here. Yeah. All right, get the stringer. Good. Number four. Fourth white bass. Come on, open your mouth. All right, Patch is turned. He's gonna get one. Oh, don't, don't reel it in. Let it work, work its way into that eddy. Ah, you made it into the current now, but you gotta let it just kind of drift in to that eddy. So this weighted bobber is really the way to go. So you see, the bank's pretty good distance away over there. This weighted bobber with about I don't know, 16 inches here. I'm able to get it all the way across the river, right in that eddy, and uh, fishing the little Popeye jig with a little, uh, it's actually a Popeye jig with a tube jig on here, or tube bait, a little crappie jig on here. That weighted bobber, I'm able to get it all the way across the bank, right in that eddy. We're catching fish after fish, you know, white bass after white bass, right there in that little eddy. Right there. So watch, 
Patch it here, flip that bale. Look, you're gonna get one right there. Here, let it sit there. Let it sit right in that eddy. Oh, I think I got one. No, not yet. Not yet. There it is, there it is, set the hook. You got him? Reel it in, dude. Yeah, I did. You got him. Nice job, man. He's strong in that current, isn't he? Yeah, he is strong. Nice, strong white bass. All right, work him over here. Get him out of that swift water. Nice job, dude. Oh, no, over here, over here. Okay. Oh, that might be the biggest one. Nice, Patch. Reel it all the way up. Here, keep it away from the water. Whoa, 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 oh, over no. here. Away from the there water. There you go. Yeah, there we go. Nice white bass. That's the way to do it, Patch. Yeah. Hold the pole. What's this? Number four? Pole, yeah. Good no, job, dude. Number, um, five, yeah. Number five? Yeah, number All right. Five. I think we already did number four. Losing count. I can't even count. Losing count. Not bad for. I think it was five. 10, four. 15 minutes. We're going to catch a one-man limit or a two-man limit? Two-man limit. Two-man limit? Yeah, we already got five. All okay, right. Wait. Well, if yeah, we... That'd be a lot of fish. Yeah. Lots of clean. i got to work today. Yeah. Let's just let you go. What's the craziest excuse or lie you've told to go fishing? Let me know in the comments yeah. below. Yeah. There it is. There he is. Oh, it's rolling. Oh, yeah. Boy, these white bass, so much fun in this current. Yeah, it's fun to reel in. Feels like you've got a big hybrid. Oh my gosh, it's eyeballs. Should I go uh, get the... Yeah, go get the stringer. It's white bass. There it is. Oh, Here, just leave the stringer up. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> These white bass are so fun during this white bass run. Oh my gosh. This is so fun right now. Okay. We are on the fish, aren't we? Yeah, here. A little smaller one. I'm going to put them on the line. White bass? Is he fighting hard? Not as hard as I thought. Not as hard as you? Oh yeah, that's a nice one, dude. Oh, here, get him out of the tree. Okay. Let me help you. Hold on, hold on. Okay. That's a nice one. Nice white bass. Holy. I love this white bass fishing during the white bass run. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, there's the bald eagle. Look at the bald eagle. Fish. Hope I got that on the GoPro. All right, I don't understand how I didn't catch a fish on that cast. Yeah, I don't know either. Here, let's get back. <laughs> but at least we saw the bald eagle. Yeah, we saw a bald eagle. That, now that is cool. And we saw those birds that were beautiful. And the finches, that's true. Oh yeah, the finches. Why did they call them finches? Is it from French? <laughs> oh. From French. That would be France, sir. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh. Got him. You got him. Bald eagles, good luck. Boy, this dude's fighting. He doesn't want to die, okay? <laughs> That's, That's what... true. That is true, Patch. Nobody wants to die. White bass again. Nice white bass. Oh, this is fun actually. <laughs> okay, I see what you mean now. These white bass are fun, man. This white bass run is awesome. Oh, hey, oh yeah. There it is. Yeah. Woo, dude. Wait, I gotta bring him up. Get him up. Nice job, Patch. Oh, huh. that's huge. That is a huge one. That's a nice one, dude. Nice white bass. Yeah, it just popped by. That's the way to do it. Okay, here, I'll get it. Nice little mess so far. 
Not bad. Nice little, a great little mess. Go ahead and turn the camera on. That's a good cast. I know I'm going to catch one here. There he is. Boom. White bass run is on. Fish for a little bit longer. I could do this all day, man. Yeah, no, you couldn't. White bass are fun. No, you couldn't do that because you gotta work. I do have to work today. Yeah. Like you could, if you could, if you, if you, could, <laughs> if you could, you would do it. If you just leave it. Yeah, leave the fish in there. That's the way to do it. All right, let's get another one. Okay, now it's my turn. I haven't caught one. That was me? Yeah. I caught that one. No, you, yes. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah. You're like, I could do this all day. So yeah, it's my turn. Oh, you got one. There you it got is. One. Here you go. All right. Give me, give me, give me. Okay, oh, I gotta keep the pressure on him. Keep the pressure this on him. Is, this is an easy fish. That's an easy one. That's an easy one. Aw. I wanted to uh, do this. Oh, is that a little white bass? <laughs> okay, no wonder. That's Even actually a hybrid, bud. It is? Yeah, it's a little small hybrid. Hybrid bass? Yeah, it's a hybrid bass. Yo, yo, that Check is him out. Nice. That's like the big ones we caught at the falls. What? Look, uh. Those are little ones? I got a good video catching hybrid bass at the falls of Ohio. I'll put a link up above, check that out. But this is a little baby one here. You can tell by the patterns here of the stripes, how they break. Nice little guy, still fun. There we go, number 13 here, if I land it. Our 13th white bass today. Oh yeah. Nice white bass. That's always what you say, like nice white bass. Nice white bass, on the black this time. <laughs> nice white bass. Switched it up. You said nice white, you always say nice white bass. I do. <laughs> okay. All right. So we ended up with 13 white bass today. All of them were nice big females with eggs. Uh, wasn't able to get the, our limit, which is 15 fish. Had to get back to work. We stuck with the weighted bobber and the Popeye jig because it was working so well for us today. I didn't really have a reason to, to switch and move off of that. But with that weighted bobber, we were able to easily reach the, uh, the other bank uh, where that eddy was uh, that was holding fish. So we were fishing a Popeye jig below the bobber and actually added a little pink and white crappie tube to the Popeye jig. I figured that would help with the muddy water, give it a little more visibility. Uh, that's a method that proved uh, to work out well for us a couple days prior. We caught uh, quite, quite a few fish in that same rig. So I want to talk about a few of the other lures and methods that worked uh, well for us with you know, different conditions down at the Salt River. Uh, the first of which is a, a Berkeley Gulp Minnow, uh, fished on just a basic jig head. Uh, that method worked out really well for us early on. I caught quite a few white bass and uh, also quite a few sauger as well early on during the white bass spawn. We also caught a lot of white bass uh, using inline spinners and minnow spinners, as well as Rapala broken back minnows and also the Rapala floating minnows. Small imitation shad swim baits also produce white bass for us. White bass spawn with a water temperature between 55 and 65 degrees. I've had my best luck when water temperatures are around 60 degrees or they stay in that 60 degree range for a couple of days in a row with, with high overnight temperatures. The temperature I'm referencing is the lake water temperature provided by the Corps of Engineers. It's not the exact temperature of the Salt River, but it can be used directionally as a point of reference for the river temperatures. I'll put a link to those water temperatures in the description below. So we're fishing the Salt River portion, that's the headwater of the Taylorsville Lake. Uh, so it's the Taylorsville Lake Wildlife Management Area. Uh, there's access, uh, a parking lot there at Palmer and River Road. There's also a lot of parking up and down River Road, with the exception of during turkey season. During Kentucky's hunting season, the access to River Road is blocked off. Uh, so that includes uh, both the regular turkey season as well as the youth turkey hunt weekend. During spring turkey season, the parking is going to be limited to just the lot there at Palmer and River Road, which greatly reduces the amount of access to the area. 
So most years the spring turkey season is going to coincide with some of the best weeks and weekends for white bass fishing, which makes it very difficult and frustrating to find a spot to, to park to go fish. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, be sure to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe down below. And get out there and take a kid fishing. Put a smile on their face.